Tonight, Fox 45 is investigating why a baby boy was given back to a mother who's now charged with murdering him and his two brothers. Kelly May is live in Bell Fountain with why the child was returned, even though the mother refused to cooperate with children's services. Kelly. Well, Jack and Deb, we got our hands on this report from Logan County Children's Services. Look here, it says Brittany and Joe Pilkington would not sign off on the plan that they were supposed to complete before getting those kids back. Now, this is complicated, but we had to ask after seeing this and knowing what we do now about Brittany's aggravated murder charges, why and how could Noah and Haley be returned to their parents? Baby Noah and sister Haley Pilkington were taken from their parents, Brittany and Joe, when Noah was born in May. Logan County Children's Services opened an investigation into the family. Suspicious after four-year-old Gavin's death in April, three-month-old Niall died in 2014. It was unknown at the time mom Brittany would later confess to suffocating the boys to death, according to the prosecutor. Brittany probably really needed a friend. When the paperwork was filed in June, the Pilkingtons were recommended by Children's Services to get full mental health evaluations. They refused to sign off, so there was no way to force them to get those evaluations. Whether they sign the paper or not, I feel like it, it's important. Ashley McLaughlin is a former friend of Brittany's, now working to fund headstones for the boys. I can't save the babies. I can't save her, um, but I am going to try to do something that can make them be remembered. We talked to her about the case plan and our investigation. Children's Services says if the Pilkingtons had signed off, they could have been evaluated by the court hearing August 11th. They could have seen something was wrong, but the documents show there were no known concerns. So the judge could only rule on what was in front of him. Noah and Haley went home and Noah was dead six days later. In the future, this could be this could happen again. And how do we prevent it? Hopefully something good does come out of this. They can, you know, rearrange something in, in the system. Now, I questioned Children's Services extensively about this tonight. They say this part of the system should be changed, that their investigation should be recognized by the courts as soon as it's opened, and that that, that should force parents to comply with their recommendations. They also told me they fought very hard to keep Noah and Haley away. We've reached out to some local lawmakers, and we'll let you know what develops. Live in Bell Fountain tonight, Kelly May, Fox 45 now.com.